So here's the scenario. You did a job, you used part of a coil, then you chucked it aside. Now you need it again, but you don't know how much is on that coil. So you guess, and you're wrong. You come up short 10 feet, and you don't know how that happened. Math could have helped you in that scenario. Today we're going to go over how to quickly calculate how much you have left on a coil. Doesn't matter what it is. Works for every kind of coil. We're going to go over the basic math that you forgot since your childhood. So stay tuned. Let's get to it. So the first thing we need to do is know the diameter of the coil. The average diameter of our coil is 21 inches. So we take that number, 21, we multiply it times 3.14 to get the circumference. Now we need to know how many strands. So we've got eight in this coil, eight strands. So eight times that number gives us our total length in inches of the coil. Divide by 12 and you have feet. So the math follows the same with this tight roll of electrical wire to where we measure that the average diameter is about six and a half. And so we multiply that times 3.14. And then that number, we just need to multiply it times strands, which we have about six rows here. And in each row, there's about four levels. And so multiply that and then divide by 12 and you have your answer which the last time I used this roll, I knew that I used more than 50 feet out of this 100 foot roll. And so this math helps me to know a little bit better how much I used and how much I've got left. You can also find the length of a coil, even if it's uneven, by simply measuring to the average diameter across the length and the width of the coil, which in this scenario is 16 and a half and 21 and a half adding those two together, which would be 38, and then dividing by two, which would be 19. So 19 being the average diameter of this coil, multiply that times 3.14, and then times your strands, which in this coil, there are 10, and then divide that by 12 to give you feet. And as you can see, that calculation gets us pretty close because this is a 50 foot coil of hose. Hopefully that video was helpful and the next time you're wondering how much is on a coil you'll remember this little tip. I have no idea how to terminate these videos. Stay safe and eat Cheetos.